today's topic is networking. So this is a quick little checklist of what we're going to be going through today. Uh, the why, why are we, why do I need to, why do I need to network? Who do I need to network with? Where, where can I do it? When and exactly also how, right? Those are always the types of questions we ask for. And in our lives and in our career, we'll meet so many different types of people. Some who do it really well and some will need a little bit of help. So today is just our way of CGI giving a little bit of help to you. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to benefit from this. And if you have any questions, like I said, don't hesitate at the end. I'll be here for that. So let's start why. Why is networking the way to go? There's many reasons, right? Uh, one is to beat the odds, really to get noticed, one-on-one -on -one connections. Networking is it's a hidden way of trying to understand the job market. And then another way is also to get information, right, from people that you know. Uh, throughout my whole career, since I started in uh, even before recruiting, when I was in university, I joined uh, different associations to create connections. Uh, I remember from high school to, to college, I went to a college that not many of my friends had gone to, so I, I connected with associations that I was interested in. I did the same thing once I went to university. Um, different, um, as, whether it be different clubs or for myself, I had joined the Italian Student Association at Concordia, and then I, I joined different events, and from that, it gave me my first job. And from that, it led to other jobs, right? So through my connections that I had made, um, it helped me in my career, right? So that's that's the intention of why networking uh, is important and how what we could do to, to really open some of those doors for us, okay? So who? So connect with professionals that you are interested in. So you all have a passion. You all have a, a, a role that you either studied or that sometimes you fell into, like talent acquisition, a lot of recruiters fall into recruitment, right? Uh, it's not always, you know, you wake up one day and say, I want to be a recruiter. Some of us do. Some of us just tend to fall into it. Um, but your connection is what sometimes can help you with your career path. So connect with partners. Connect with people that are within the same industry and have the same interest as you, right? Follow in influencers. Uh, opinion leaders, social media platforms, whether it be LinkedIn, um, whether it be Twitter, uh, whatever it may be to really help you get get there and to get you to understand the different uh, ways and different ways that people are connected to these jobs or connected to these types of roles. Books as well, look at different authors, follow authors, uh, follow them via LinkedIn. Uh, I know I'm, I'm talking like I'm talking a lot about LinkedIn, but it is a good way to really have a wide variety of, of information on, on companies uh, who are their main as social influencers on, on that company. If, if you take a look at my profile or even some of my colleagues' profiles, some of us post a lot of different types of roles as well as different events that are coming, whether it be a career fair, whether it be a, a student. Right now we're doing a lot of recruiting for Java Bootcamp. So we're starting up a Java bootcamp for for CGI and I had met quite a few students at one of our fintechs. So they reached out to me and I shared the job with them and they shared it in their network and they were able to give us uh, or provide us with some really nice profiles. Uh, and they were able to also be considered for that job. So one event will lead you to multiple different things in, 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 uh, in, 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 the, in the process. OK. Where can you uh, network? So social networking uh, right now because of COVID, as you all know, we're all mainly from home. So there's a lot less in person. Well, practically none. Uh, so it's mainly more virtual, right? Um, we hold different types of events like this, right? Uh, where we're doing lives. Uh, we could do one on ones. Uh, there's also uh, different virtual career fairs, uh, different associations as well. So whatever in association you're interested in, join them. They are having events. Um, follow social media that you have an interest that have certain associations that you are interested in. LinkedIn as well. Professional groups, right? Different chats within LinkedIn, for example. There's different groups that you can join. The important part too is is that you're participating, right? Participate in these chats. Don't just like or don't just uh, ask to be part of it. Give your comments. Be noticed. That that's going to be very important for you. Huh? When is the right time to network? Oh, any time and every time. Um, you can start as early as you want. Uh, and really the intention of, uh, of networking is to help you in your 
career path, right? And it's not necessarily, yes, it could be about changing a new job, looking for a new opportunity, but it can also be in your present role. It happens to me many times that I'm reaching out to my social network and saying, hey, have you experienced this before? What have you done in your, in your experience or in your position to help you overcome this? Uh, I remember with the COVID situation at the very beginning, there was a lot of different things happening, right? So I have some friends in the same kind of role that I am in, and I reached out to them and said, hey, what's going on? Like, what are you doing? How are you helping your team in this difficult time? How are you keeping them motivated? It's a way of, of, of using your network's expertise to help guide you uh, and also to help guide you in your jobs and your job searching. I can give you an example of myself personally. I, I probably, Every single job I've had has been through a connection, even coming to CGI. Uh, Christine and I had spoken over a year, almost two years ago uh, in regards to something and we kept in contact. And when I was ready to make a move, I just reached out to her and say, hey, I'm now open to maybe looking at other opportunities. And she says, you know what? It happens to have, we have happened to have something here. Uh, so now it's a year I'm here at CGI. So. It, it was something that, you know, it was just, it happened. If she, I wanted her part of my network. We discussed it, we chat, and, and then a year later, it ended up working out. So think of it anytime, start networking, and you need to network before you need it, right? Because when you're networking only when you need it, you're, you're not open to different types of opportunities. So open yourself up to uh, other options, uh, meet different people online, but make it targeted right don't just connect with a thousand different people and not have any form of connection um you need to have a reason for that connection okay how does one become a great networker well that's part of what i just said previously really connecting with the right people connecting for the right reason I'll give you uh, another example. I have people that reach out to me sometimes and and the first thing they say is that could we connect? Oh, I have this. Are you interested? That's not necessarily what you want to do, right? It, it's not always if you're connecting to do a sales pitch initially and right away, it doesn't always work because everybody, a lot of people get <laughs> um, solicited in that way. Instead, if you're connecting uh, based really on, on a common interest or something that you want to learn more about and interested in, uh, that's where there's going to be a real genuine networking. So be active on social media, exchange your knowledge, like I said before, uh, and get to know your contacts, right? Um, give you an example if there's a specific company you're interested in. Let's take CGI, for example, since we're talking about CGI. Check out our website, check, out, check out our LinkedIn, see who the recruiters are get to know what kind of jobs they're posting. Connect with the one that you see post jobs that interests you. In my team, I have certain recruiters that focus really more on Java. I have other ones that are doing more of the architect, right? So if you're a Java and you're interested in exploring opportunities, I would suggest that you would connect with more that recruiter that is posting those types of jobs, like their jobs, share their jobs, connect with them via LinkedIn. As soon as you see that they post a job, send them a message and say, hey, I saw this, I'd be interested, or hey, I know someone that may be interested. It's really around that. It's really connecting and making a difference, not just connecting with everybody and anybody. Perfect, and then that's uh, our practical information about CGI. You can definitely check our career website, take a look at all of our positions that are online. You can also create yourself a job alert. So whatever positions you have that you're, that positions that you're interested in, you can get alerts based around that. Okay, let's go to some questions. <clears throat> Sonia, you're on mute. You're on mute. Hello. Sorry about that. I think I went on mute for a minute, strangely enough. Um, so sorry, I'm not sure which part you heard, but 
uh, the, one of the questions I see here is everyone is busy these days. How does one persuade someone to be part of your network and actually help? So like I was saying before, um, if you're if you're interested in Java role, right? You would definitely try to network with someone who has Java type profile positions that they're posting. Follow them, share in their network, try to connect with them. And that's how we would help you. Uh, you need to really target your, your connection. I'll give you an example of myself, like I said before. Um, I'm not necessarily going to be um, connecting or networking with someone that is doing, um, let's say for myself, my own career, right? Yeah, I'm not going to be necessarily wanting to connect with an engineer of, uh, of uh, pharmaceutical whatever, because that's not my interest. My interest was really more HR, uh, talent acquisition. So my network is based around there, right? So different leaders within the, the uh, company, within the industry, uh, different types of professionals within that industry. And then I also have different targeted companies that I was interested in or I'm interested in into persuading to, to, to go work with them, right? So CGI was one of them. So you take a look at their company, you get to understand who are their influencers, who they are, what they are about, what does the team look like? And then you try to connect, try to attain, uh, um, participate in some other events and then definitely uh, applying on jobs that fit your profile. One of the biggest things that we hear uh, is, you know, I, I try to connect. I don't get the feedback. Today's day's age, there's a lot of positions with a lot of particular expectations, right? Our, our, our hiring leaders are looking for a specific profile. So they're looking for talent acquisition to provide them with that profile, at least the majority of it, 80%, 85% fit. So the team is really focusing around there. So you need to yourself assess the job description and see if that's where you want to be and if that you fit that profile. Okay, and hopefully I answered your question. I have been networking and trying to connect professionals, but no luck in job search yet. Not sure where I'm lacking. So depending what your profile is, some positions are harder than others, right? Uh, again, that's the that's one of the reasons why networking is important that you do it not only when you're searching for a job, but from like always, you're always supposed to be networking. I'm always networking a lot. You know, anyone who is in, in HR and talent acquisition, of course, we're always networking because we're always looking to for a hire. But in, in general, you should always be networking. So what I would suggest that you do is really look at what you're at looking for. Like, what's the role? And then try to map out for yourself. What are the industries that I'm interested in? What are the companies that I'm interested in? And who are the key people in those companies? And do they have a role that fits my profile? And try to network with them and try to connect with them. Try to participate in their events. Try to participate in, in anything that they have um, that may give you that visibility. Okay, hopefully I answered your question. Uh, how can one network with internal employees of a company when applying for job. So internal. So I'm, I'm assuming this is you within your own company. So one thing is definitely speak to your hiring, your, your leader, your manager, right? Letting them know that you're looking for something else and that you're interested in another role. Have them help you. Your bosses, your leaders are there to help you, to develop you and to grow you. So speak to them about the role that you're interested in. Speak to them about how you want and why you're how you're interested and how they can help you in, in navigating through this. And they can definitely help you to network with the, the leaders in that group. Uh, and another option is speaking to your leader and say, OK, if they have any projects within that group, how can I be part of that project so they can kind of see how I'm doing my job, how I'm doing my work? Uh, what we try to do as well here at CGI um, is when we're working on projects, it, it's not, and, and myself in particular, I work a lot with Irina on, my, on the team that we do a lot of branding and, and, and TA marketing type um, projects. So we have people from across Canada helping us on these projects. So we get to see each other. It's not just people on my team. So it's really to, to so we get to see and you cross, cross um, using each other's uniqueness and, and, and experiences, right? So the more diverse the team is, the more different the experiences and, and the and the um, the project will be. So yeah, ask your, your leader or try to connect and, and sometimes speaking to a friend who could refer you to another friend who can give you more information. Okay. How is networking working right now during COVID, especially with lockdown? 
Yeah, it's not easy. I know it definitely is not easy. It's been a lot more virtual, a lot. We've done quite a bit of virtual. It's 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 different. You're like for myself personally, I would say the virtual is OK. I prefer in person. I've done a lot of seminars. I've done a lot of chatting and then I'm in person. I, I'm a handshaker. I'm, I like to be in people's faces and, and, and chit chat and, and talk and have a connection. So it is a little bit more difficult virtual, but this is where we are today. So honestly, connect yourself virtually with people um, today. Honestly, everybody has some form of tool that they're using to connect, whether it be um, teams, whether it be WebExes, whether it be whatever tool that works for you um, and do maybe a virtual coffee. Like if there's someone that you're, you know, you want to network with or that you've spoken to and has reached out to you and you're interested, just say, hey, are you free for a 15 minute virtual coffee just to have a little chit chat to get to know each other? I get that. I've, I've gone that and with some of them I'll say yes. With some of them I'll say, you know, uh, not right now. I, there's, I, I can't maybe in a couple, but it's it's a good way of, of trying to connect that way. Um, how do you connect if you're not a social butterfly? Well, you don't need to be a social butterfly, right? Um, you don't need to have the 100,000 connections on LinkedIn or the the 1,000 followers. or You don't need that. You need to make sure that you're able to connect with the pool that you want. So that's why I said at the beginning, look at um, what you're looking for. Really establish what you're looking for. Look at it and then really try to map out where you need to be and who you need to connect with to be there. So no need to be a social butterfly. Just be a little bit more social or networky, if you want to say, um, for that, that group that you're interested in. Okay, We're not all social butterflies, and uh, but networking is definitely a way to help you. It's not the only way. Honestly, it's not the only way, but it is a, definitely a very good way to help you. Uh, ooh, shout out to Concordia, yes. <laughs> uh, I missed the last webinar. Is there any way to watch the previous? Yes, so we will be posting them. As I said at the beginning, we will be posting all of them online. OK. Any more questions? I see a lot of them have been answered. OK, here it is. Uh, it is easy to have a first coffee chat where you are discussing the company role, etc. But how do you initiate the second meeting? What do you talk about? Huh, OK. So your first chat, before you end off that conversation, you should have a to do. Definitely a to do. Uh, definitely something to you. You should talk about what you needed to talk about, making sure you get what you want or need out of that. And if you don't just say at the end of that, you know what? I'm glad, you know, I'm really happy we had this time to chit chat. Um, if you don't mind, you know, I'd love to set up maybe another one where we could go maybe a little bit more into detail about this, this or that, or how you know I can help you or you can help me to get to this or to get to that. Um, always have something at the end of that conversation um, and a to do and make sure you have all your questions answered before you end that con conversation. OK. okay. How do you keep in touch? What topics of conversations do you have? The beauty of the beauty of networking is you don't need to always be speaking to someone or to that person, right? It's keeping in contact. It's it's maintaining some form of connection, whether it be uh, making sure you're following them on LinkedIn again, or or you know looking at their profiles, or sometimes every once in a while sending them messages. Um, I'll give you a, a perfect example. In early my career, I was uh, working in a, in an agency and um, and I was managing uh, temporary and permanent placements. Uh, and I met a lot of people and I've placed a lot of people. And a lot of those individuals are connected with me via LinkedIn. So we're we're highly we're always connected. And my daughter and I were shopping one day, and and this one person comes up to me and says, "Oh my God, you placed me at so and so whatever company." And I said, oh, OK, no problem. And she's like, thank you very much. She goes, my son is is graduating. Do you mind if I send you his profile? 
I said, yeah, no problem. Of course, please do so. Not an issue. I went on LinkedIn and, and I looked at her profile because I remembered her, but I wasn't 100 percent sure. I looked at her profile. Yes, we were connected. And when I saw her profile, it brought me back to the time I had placed her. Uh, and then her son reached out to me, referred me saying that I'm your mom. I'm, I'm so and so's son and you placed her at so and so place. And I ended up placing that person. So it, it, sometimes it's also who you know and, what, and the connections, right? And keeping in contact and always making sure it's a positive, very positive um, time that you're, you're, you're with these people, right? Because you want to have this networking event or this networking with this individual, but it needs to be positive. It needs to be memorable. And I remembered her and I remember many of the people I've placed in my, in my lifetime. And, and but I also remember the negative ones, right? And, and those are not the ones I'm going to network with. I'm going to network more with the ones that I had a very positive interaction with. Okay. Can you give me information about the Java Bootcamp? Yeah, you know what? Reach out to me via LinkedIn. Um, connect with me and I'll definitely send you the information. I have posted it in the last few weeks, uh, but don't hesitate to take a look at it. Okay. Okay. I've been out of work for over a year due to COVID. How do I go about networking without making it seem like I'm desperate for a job? That's one of the reasons I said before, don't wait for looking for a job, right? To, to network. So now that you are in that situation, what I would suggest that you do is there's two things. Yes, networking, trying to get yourself connected to different companies that you're interested in. Like I said, map out what you're looking for. Try to find who are the people that are really are, are recruiting for those types of roles and try to connect with them. Provide them with your CV, provide them with information. Uh, and ideally, see if you have a connection that is similar to them or that there you have a connection with them in between that could refer you to that person or could give you a reference. Uh, that sometimes definitely does help. And the other piece too is networking. Yes, it helps in the job search. It helps you in finding your roles, but it's not the only way, right? Apply for a job, follow up. If you've met for an interview, follow up with your recruiter, make sure that they give you the feedback. Again, apply for jobs that fit your profile, right? If you're, uh, if you're applying on 20, 30, 40 jobs, you could be burning yourself right with the recruiters because they do speak within themselves with within the groups, right? If you're if you're applying on a Java, you're playing on an architect and you're, you're applying on a sysadmin and you're applying on a uh, on an analyst, it, it, they don't drive and you don't have the experience for all of them. That's the not to, to do networking, right? It's really network with the ones that fit your profile and, and that fit what you're looking for. Okay. I get view of my post, but not enough interaction. Any suggestion on how I could work on it? Well, make your views relevant, right? Make sure that you're targeting your audience with what, like your message needs to hit home, right? Um, example. If I am talking about my Java bootcamp, for example, um, I am, and it's supposed to be university students. So I am, my target is going to be university students. I will talk to, it will be in the language that, that is for them, right? I'm not going to talk about long lasting opportunity. I'm not going to talk about uh, retirement because I'm talking about you, university grads, right? So we're going to talk about come here and start your career. Come here and see what we can provide for you. So it's really using the proper language for the proper group that you're looking for. And then a lot with LinkedIn and other sites is hashtag uh, the different associations. So you're giving, you're getting more visibility. Right, and sometimes it's just getting that one or two people that have a big network to share your job or to share not your job, but to share your, your posting and that'll give it the visibility that it needs. OK, and then the other thing, too, is you know what, uh, whether you're in Montreal or you're anywhere else, if you're in Quebec, make it bilingual, right? So you target both languages. Uh, if you're in Ontario, it's just English, then that's fine as well. But try targeting and you know what? Get your colleagues to help you share your jobs like uh, and share your postings. I know I do. Um, Irina and I have worked with our teams across Canada to help them post our career lab and to share our career lab. Some of them are really, really amazing at it and some of them will share it once, but it's okay. Whatever posting we can get, it just it hit one extra person, right? Let's see what other questions. Uh, 
How does networking can help in getting job opportunities in CGI for foreign skilled workers? Uh, we actually do a lot of international recruitment and a lot of international hiring. Um, networking can give you exposure to what we have here. So by looking at and joining our different events that we have. But one of the things I would definitely say to you, I'm not sure if you're here or you're international, but one of the things that we do when we're hiring or when we are about to hire, we help them also with networking here to make sure that they're they understand what you know where they're coming and what they're what to expect when they're here. Um, so we'll usually buddy them up with someone uh, so they can understand what that environment and what that area looks like. So, for example, if it's in Drummondville, which is, is a place here in, in Quebec, um, connecting them there and saying, OK, these are some of the schools. These are some of the just to give them a little bit of, of support, uh, but definitely networking, whether you're local or international to understand how things work here and to understand how um, to get noticed too, right? Uh, definitely, and, and the thing is with IT type roles, it's a universal language, whether you're Java Montreal, Java Ontario or Java France, it, you know what the skills are it, it, and you know what the work needs and it entails. Um, so it, it definitely is something that is useful uh, wh wherever you're from. Okay. Uh, once you connect and have a great first talk. How do you keep the connect? OK, I think we talked about that already. OK, thanks for the presentation. My question is related to how to make a long term relationship in my network. I was lucky to connect several recruiters, but I never get any feedback from them. I know they are super busy, but I message them every two weeks. Should I continue to message them? or change to others. Thank you so much. OK, so. Every two weeks probably is not. It's not about how many times you connect with them. Remember that it's really about the relevance, right? Be relative, be make sure it's it's you're connecting or you're reaching out to them for a reason, because one thing you don't want to do is burn your connection. You really don't. Um, and if you are always asking, you're always wanting, you may burn that connection. So remember to always uh, maintain uh, a respect between yourself and, and whoever you're social networking with. So if it's related to a specific job, apply for the job. If you fit for that role, they will call you. If you have your first interview and they haven't got back to you, follow up. Find out the why, try to understand why better, why and what you can do better, or what was the reason why you weren't chosen, or whatever it is, just so you can better at it, or even understand the reason maybe the role went a different direction, or maybe they had someone internally, but just so that you understand. And maybe you can also ask that recruiter if there's other opportunities that uh, they could consider you for, or if there's another recruiter you need to speak to, right? That's how you would use your 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 connection with that recruiter to help you network with other recruiters. Um, then if you're if your recruiter, if you don't have a job and you've applied or you're just connecting with them, just keep them up to date. Send them your profile. Just let them know, hey, available for a role. This is the type of role, but make sure that you either mark it in a way that you're alerted every time they post something. So this way, when they are posting a job, you can apply to that job and then follow up on that and say, hey, I saw you posted a new job. I'm interested. Can you take a look on my profile? I know we've met in the past. I applied for another role. We interviewed whatever you give a bit of history because think of it. We're solicited constantly, but let's make the network, the networking and the connections meaningful. That, that's the very, very important. If that's one thing I want to say today and I wanted to resonate with everyone is make your connections meaningful uh, and connect for a reason uh, and making sure that it's a positive connection as well. Okay. Uh, Hi there, I would like to ask what would be the, a good first question to ask when you start networking? I would like to be more initiative to start conversation to companies I like, but I don't know what would be a good opener. I think the one thing you can do first is join an event. Join if they're having an event, if they're having something, just to understand a little bit more about them. 
Um, and then it all depends again, what is the point of you wanting to connect with them? Is it for a job? Is it to understand a little bit more about their expertise and base your questions or base your connection with them uh, around there? It's really important that there's a reason why you're doing that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Virtual coffee is a great idea. Yes, it is. Just no wine, just coffee. <laughs> uh, is the years of experience for relevant than education? So when you network, which should you highlight? What goes does CGI focus on experience or education? You need to put both guys and girls. You really, really need to put both. Put your education, make sure it's clear what you've accomplished school wise, education wise. It's not everything, uh, but it needs to be there, right? And then your experience, but also your CVs make it relevant to what you're looking for. Just don't state a whole bunch of words. Um, show what you've accomplished. Show them on your CV. I've done this. I've accomplished this. I've obtained this. Um, working on this project, I developed this. Like really using keywords uh, to help you explain what you've accomplished and what you're able to do. It's it's your sales pitch, uh, right? And when you're networking, use that sales pitch from your CV to accompany it, right? Um, so it's really really important that you put a combination of both. Huh. And again, uh, when we're talking about experience, and this is probably one of the career labs that we will be doing as well, is how to, you know, have a proper CV because we are getting a lot of questions on that. Um, really make sure that it's whatever you're putting on your CV is a reality, right? Uh, making sure that you have the details. Uh, so even when you're networking, make sure that when you're networking with someone that you're not saying something that you're not really comfortable with. So if you want to be seen as an expert in something, I'll, I'll give you the example of myself, right? I'm, I'm talent acquisition through and through. I love talent acquisition. I love recruiting. Talk to me about processes, talking to me about um, how to network. I, I can do that, how to work with LinkedIn. But if you're going to ask me how to do my taxes at the end of the year and want me to give you, I, that's not me. And I'm not going to pretend to be that. <laughs> not because my mother or my brother is a tax an accountant that I can pretend to be one, right? I will stay with my little expertise and I will give my two cents if I want to say um, when it's relative to, to, to me. Uh, so that, what's one thing I would definitely suggest that you guys do the same. OK, we are 436. I'll answer probably one more question and then uh, we'll call it a wrap. So CGI is in Montreal. I am in Toronto. Well, CGI is all over the world. Uh, I am here in Montreal, uh, but we have offices really across Canada uh, and across the world. So definitely take a look on our website and you can take a look at all the different locations as well as all of our jobs that we have available uh, in the different locations. I think when I checked this morning, we had over a thousand jobs. Uh, so definitely there should be an opportunity uh, somewhere for, for you guys. Okay. Perfect, so thank you very much. I'm sorry I wasn't able to answer all the questions. I think there's uh, at least 50 more, so we'll try. We're probably gonna be creating a little question and answer after this. Uh, all the sessions are done to help answer some of these other questions, but please do not hesitate to connect with me uh, via LinkedIn. You can network with me. Uh, and if there's anything I can help you guys and assist, please don't hesitate. And if you have any other uh, questions, don't, don't hesitate, okay? Thank you very much, everybody. Bye.